Next up, Rob Robinette, AI6 Victor November. Jason, good. We got him queued up. So, I'd like to introduce Rob Robinette, and the title of his lightning talk is Whisper Daemon, a low cost, high performance, all band whisper decoding system. Okay. So um, I, uh, this is, a, uh, I became interested in uh, using Whisper as a research tool. And uh, w w I hopefully most of you are f at least familiar with the principles of it. There's a beaconing system that uh, is uh, uh, a thousand or more transmitters around the world sending out uh, low, low power uh, beacon signals every two minutes. And there are several thousand receive sites uh, that report that and log the, uh, these signals to a global database. So um, the, the, this is implemented uh, as part of the WSJTX software package uh, from Joe Taylor and group. Uh, but uh, that package is really focused at mostly on uh, you know, the uh, FT8s and all the, the other interactive uh, communication protocols. The, the whisper uh, decoding aspect uh, uh, mode of that program is, is uh, powerful but very awkward to use. And, um, uh, because uh, because the, the software is oriented in other directions, it's very hard to start it up. It decodes one bot band at a time, so uh, it's, uh, it takes audio, baseband to audio through the input. It, it can do multiple bands, but it does one band, you know, two minutes on one band, two minutes on another. If you, if, to start it up, it, it, it disables all the other operations of your transceiver or receiver and your PC. It's difficult to use it for other purposes. And uh, in order to really start to gather data that, uh, using Whisper, I wanted to, to, um, to make it possible to just have the whole thing start up and run and do all. There's, four, there's a Whisper band on each uh, amateur band. So from uh, 2200 through 10 meters, there's 14 bands. Uh, there are thousands of signals out there going on uh, constantly. And uh, being able to uh, pick up and record all those signals simultaneously without spending a lot of time setting up your PC and to get all of the signals on all the bands at the same time without investing thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, this was really, this whisper using uh, WSJTX was not, uh, not a, a good solution. So uh, what I came up with was I implemented a piece of software that runs on a Raspberry Pi or other Linux computer. Uh, it's a script, open source, uh, contact me and I'll give it you a copy. Uh, it, it, uh, what it does is it runs on, on a, a Raspberry Pi, which it turns on automatically and talks and starts to capture signals, primarily uh, using the uh, Kiwi SDR as the primary source for audio. And the Kiwi is a $300 retail SDR that can uh, tune to eight different uh, bands simultaneously. So y with two of these Kiwis, you can be tuning to all 14 2200 meter through 10 meter band simultaneously every two minutes. No band hopping at all. You're getting every signal on every band all the time with $600 worth of receivers and a $40 Pi. So this thing, you just power it up. If you lose power, you know, just wait for your power to come back up. It, once you configure it, it just runs 24 seven the way your refrigerator does. So, um, this is, uh, in the last uh, six months, just about, I would say, at least 50% of the top spotting stations worldwide have uh, adopted this uh, piece of software. And the Kiwis, although some people use other devices, you, you can configure it for baseband audio input. Um, at, I have been implementing it at, uh, uh, I, now at KPH, which is the site for the, in, out in California. Uh, this uh, is a, a historic radio site with a very, very quiet uh, reception area out at uh, north of, of Sacramento, uh, Saf San Francisco on the coast. And we have a bank of Kiwis there that are available publicly, kiwisdr.com. You can go there and listen to any of these, just general purpose listening. But two of these Kiwis of the, well, you, I'm showing not all of them. There's actually eight of them out there. But two of these eight Kiwis are uh, configured and dedicated for whisper reception. And there's a Pi, a little Raspberry Pi sitting down here 
that decodes all those 14 signals from 14 bands and logs them. So KPH is now in North America number four, number five. Uh, we are challenged geographically by being on the West Coast, so we don't hear the European signals and so on. But it's really a top uh, whisper uh, reception site. And we've been using uh, this whisper decoding software to do, start to do some atmospheric research, which I'll be reporting them on in greater length tomorrow morning. So there'll be a session tomorrow morning where I'll discuss how we've used Whisper Demon, not just to log signals, but also to look at the conditions in the ionosphere, uh, the uh, traveling ionospheric disturbances of great interest to some of our, uh, our uh, uh, SAM SEI. So that's, anyway, this is, uh, the summary is, if you're interested in Whisper, if you want to be really uh, understand your antenna systems and the propagation systems, I encourage you send me an email, rob at robinet.us, or come by and see me, and I'll, I'll give you a copy of it. And I think you'll find that uh, you're able to uh, do a lot more. The whisper can sit there and run, and you can uh, focus on other more interesting things than trying to set up your uh, WSJTX on your PC. Anyway, that's the layout. That's, a, that's enough. I think that's five minutes, and I, I don't want to take more time. So. Thank you, Rob.